I've been in bone marrow transplantation since the 1960s. Uh, we did our first transplants in humans in 1968. Since 1968, tremendous advances have been made in the area of bone marrow transplantation. Uh, it has become a much, much safer procedure and a much more successful procedure. You need to have healthy bone marrow because in order to produce red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, which are essential for life, um, those cells are made there. It's the home. The bone marrow is the home for these cells. A bone marrow transplant in many diseases offers the only hope of cure for that disease. Stem cell transplantation is used for a number of diseases. The majority of those diseases are cancer or malignant diseases of some sort. Other diseases, though, are not cancerous diseases. We now have uh, ways of doing transplants using much less toxic uh, preparation for the transplant so that people can do this almost as an outpatient now. And because of that, we can do transplants in much older people. There are essentially two types of transplant. Autologous transplant using your own stem cells, allogeneic transplant using a donor's stem cells. The recommendation for the type of transplant that you receive will come from your oncologist or transplant physician. A bone marrow transplant is the process of taking stem cells, which are actually made in your bone marrow, you take them out of your body or a donor's body, and they're reinfused back to the patient after chemotherapy and radiation. The first thing was fear, but then I think you go into denial, you know, or you think, well, I'm sure there's a mistake. And, um, but then we thought we'd better go see, get another opinion at least. And I couldn't believe there was only a single treatment. And I wanted to go and get at least a second or third opinion, which I uh, started to do immediately within a day or two. I chose to have a bone marrow transplant, although I knew it was a risky uh, procedure. I think it's quite difficult for um, African Americans and maybe minorities uh, in general to find matches in the general population. So I, I was very fortunate to have a match. The transplant team at the hospital that you're going to be seeking your care is going to be so important in your treatment and recovery that you must trust them. You must know in your heart and in your mind that you are in the best place for you uh, for this transplant. The medical team consists of a multidisciplinary team, meaning that there, as well as the physicians and nurses, there are social workers, pharmacists, psychologists, everyone that you need to get you through that transplant. I don't think that it's important to have your transplant done in the place that does the most transplants, but I do believe that it's important for you to have your transplant done at a place that has significant experience. If you're lucky enough to live near a center that has that kind of experience, then your decision is, is simple. If you're not, you need to look into where you can find that kind of care, and that care may be away from your home. I had the utmost faith in my medical team right from the beginning. The first thing that impressed me with, with them was that they never tried to gloss over anything. They, um, they told us right up front what the possibilities were and that this was, this was no joking matter, that it was very serious. So just knowing that there was hope, that there was somebody that could help me, and that was just, I mean, it was like day and night difference. I went to a therapist. Um, I talked about my concerns. I had no reservations at all about seeking professional help for this. I knew I needed support, and I needed a lot of it. Uh, it's very important for people that are about to go through uh, a bone marrow transplant to talk to somebody. Um, I didn't do it. In some ways, I, I wish that I had. Um, but everybody deals with it in a different way. And I found that some people will will respond and in, in sometimes they're afraid. Sometimes they're just angry, and that consumes everything. 
if you did not come to us with some fear and some concerns, we would actually worry about you. So this is perfectly normal. One of the situations that I recall feeling was that I was somehow to blame, that somehow the onset of this disease was my fault. I didn't blame anyone. I didn't blame anything. But I looked at the sense of responsibility I had toward maybe getting sick. I think that was a benefit of going through some therapy is realizing I didn't do anything to make this happen.